Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a video waiting for it to load, and I said in that video, I made this little squiggle. It's not that big a deal, but if you came up with something and you wanted it around a path, if you have 19, you can do this with any Corel version, but 19 makes it easier by going to Range, Fit Object to Path. Now, you need to click on your object first, and then click on your path, and I'm going to go 12 times. How cool is that? That you made that in just from that little squiggle. Pretty neat. Uh, you could even, I mean, get some other effects by filling that in and seeing what the color field looks like. You know, that itself is pretty unique. But you can do a lot with this. And you wouldn't even have to use, let's back up here. Let's take a half that path. Let's put this in the center. I hit delete. Let's hit P. Draw a two-point line. Hit P. Delete half your line or half your ellipse. Now this is our new path. You need to select your object first. Hold down the shift. But this time we're only going to put Let's put seven. There you go. Now it actually went past the path, but that probably all controlled by the object origin. Anyway, and one thing I like about this, you don't have to break it apart like you do text to path. You can just move that over. And it is, you know, you can do anything with you want, it, want to with it. Uh, you can do that with duplicate around and, and actually step and repeat or in the transformation if you don't have 19 in the rotate and transformation docker. Same result. But Corel 19 is made a little bit faster. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for